John Oaks here with Hangsters Hot Rods coming to you again here from our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. Um, today we've got yet another new addition to our inventory and this is a 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. Um, we're going to call this one a Z28 styled Camaro because it does have some of the few badging and stuff like that that the Z28s would have had. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start at the back of the car like we always do. Of course we've got our stock fuel tank in here. Looks like we've got pretty new mounting hardware in here. So your straps here, the insulators between, the bolt mounting bolts that hold that in. All of that stuff looks to be fairly new if not new. Um, the trunk floor pan that I can see up in here. Um, to be completely honest, if I'm looking at this whole entire car here, I would almost say that our trunk pan and our floors on this car are all brand spanking new. They look excellent underneath this car. I don't know how well the video is going to show that, but I'm just telling you, they look great from the underside here. Um, now as far as what we see back here, we've got multi-leaf rear suspension on the car. We've got a set of AC Delco shocks across the back end here. Um, as far as our tires go, these are all Mastercraft Avenger GT tires. Um, now up front we've got two 35-60-15s, but on the back we've got two 45-60-R15s. Uh, and these are all mounted on stock steel factory rally wheels with the beauty rings and the center caps all intact and they are all in great condition. Um, as far as stopping power on the back, we've got drum brakes back here. And yes, the parking brake or emergency brake, it is all hooked up here on this particular car. We've got a GM 10 bolt rear end here. This is a posi unit. Uh, it is the 8.2 inch ring gear though. And you can tell that from the housing there. If it had the big lugs that stuck down here, that's a tall tail sign that it would be the bigger ring and pinion, but this is the 8.2. Um, and again, exhaust. We have long tube headers up front all stainless exhaust the whole way back through the car. We've got a set of Pipes Race Pro mufflers here that look to be really, really nice. And then we've got the tailpipes here that do go up over top of the rear end housing. And then they exit out between the leaf spring and the quarter panel here as they should. And here we are now under the center of our car. So again, as I said, uh, the floors in this car are excellent. Uh, the floors, the trunk pan, and you can see right here you've got your correct stamped steel floors here. These are perfect condition. There's no patching. Like I said, I believe that it probably had complete floors put in it. So it's all one piece, no panels, you know, butted together or anything like that. It is done 100% correct. Um, the subframe on this car, it's in excellent shape too, nice and straight. They're not banged up in any way whatsoever. Uh, the body bushings those look to be in good shape too on both sides also. Um, again, that stainless steel exhaust here all the way back, complete with your X-pipe right here too. Um, that's just to kind of help you to know, equalize pressure in the pipes. Um, your transmission cross member here, that's in good condition as well. The tail shaft uh, uh, bumper back here, that's in good shape too. Now this is a four-speed transmission. It is your Muncie M21 four-speed transmission. Uh, got the aluminum bell housing on it too. As I said before, you've got the long tube headers here. These are ceramic coated headers as well. Uh, I also mentioned earlier that we do have the emergency brake or parking brake all hooked up. All the correct hardware mounted into the frame, all the correct clips, everything, and it's all run all the way back as it should back to those rear drum brakes. Um, so that's uh, essentially it uh, for underneath the center of the car. Fuel lines are in excellent shape. Brake lines are run real nice on the car there and those are in good condition too. And they're clipped up along the, the edge of the floors there as they should be. Rockers are in really good shape here too. Um, so again, yeah, no, uh, no complaints, no surprises or anything like that underneath here other than this thing looks great underneath the center of this car. So and now here we are underneath the front end of our 68 Camaro Z28 style car here. So, as we do with all, all of our cars, we'll start from one side and work our way across on the front. Uh, again, these are Mastercraft Avenger GT tires here up front. Again, 
matching on the back as well. Just a difference in size. Up front now we have two 3560 R15s also mounted on those 15 inch steel factory rally wheels with center rings uh, or beauty rings and center caps I should say. As far as stopping power on this particular car we've got disc brakes up front uh, on this one. Uh, you've got all the stock factory stamped steel components as far as the suspension goes so your lower control arms and your upper A arms those are all factory st stock stamped steel. Uh, this car does have a front sway bar. It's going to help connect the front end together here side to side and help with cornering and stability. Um, as far as uh, bushings go for that, you've got good urethane bushings on your sway bar end links. Um, your frame bushings, those are in great shape to begin with, um, so no complaints there. Front cross member, good and solid, all in one piece there, uh, nice and straight there on the car. So you can tell it wasn't you know beat up or anything like that the frame rails themselves up here you can see how nice those are on both sides nice and straight nice and square too up front here uh, so again that whole front subframe there that, fr that front clip on this car is in great shape um, as far as uh, other components your steering just back here your tie rods those look to be in really good shape um, the ends here with the uh, rubber dust boot covers on them, your drag link, all of that stuff is in really good condition on this car. Bushings on the uh, lower control arms are great. Um, your ball joints on the uppers and lowers, those are in good condition too. And you can tell that all your greasable items have been maintained very well on this car. Uh, so again, you should not have any issues whatsoever. Everything should be good and free and nice and tight across the front end of this car. Um, other things of mention uh, while we're underneath here, um, I can see that we do have that black front air dam on the car and it does have the rear trunk spoiler on it as well which you'll see on the uh, top side video. Uh, we've got just your stock style radiator in here too with your plastic fan shroud. Um, so and then uh, this car is, let me just check real quick. Um, this car is a manual steering car um, and looks like power brakes. So power disc brakes and manual steering on a car. Again, the manual steering isn't that big of a deal on a car like this. It's a small block motor, um, so you don't have a whole lot of weight up front. And once you get going in a car like this, you don't even miss that power steering. It steers real nice. Um, so again, as long as your suspension and everything is real nice and tight across the front end, no problems and no issues to speak of whatsoever. So with that said, uh, we're all done underneath. We'll go ahead now at this time, get it down off the lift, and we'll take you around the outside of the car next. All right, here we are now. We've got our 68 Camaro Z28 style down off of our lift out in our main uh, photo studio showroom area here now. So again, we'll go around the outside and uh, show you exactly what we have here that we're looking at. So obviously we've got this nice red Camaro, uh, kind of a Bolero red color here. Um, and the paint is just fantastic on this car. Very nice paint. Um, the finish on this thing, the fitment, everything about it looks really, really good here. Um, you know, hopefully it looks just as well in the uh, video and the photos, because in person it looks great. Um, again, it's a Z28 style Camaro, so you do have some styling cues, however uh, subtle they may be. We've got the Z28 emblems here on the front fender. Uh, now it does have a steel 2-inch cowl induction hood, um, so you can see that right here, and then we'll take a look at it from the front side too. Um, but fitment and finish on that is excellent too. Um, we do have uh, the bright wheel lip moldings here, um, along with that bright, um, the rocker panel trim here along the bottom of the car. Um, it's a big, long, just one piece trim, uh, and it's in excellent condition, nice and straight, no dents or dings in that, so it looks really good. Got the Camaro script emblem here on the back side of the front fender also. Uh, as far as wheels and tires go, we've already kind of touched on this, but as you can see, we've got the factory steel rally wheels here. Now these are the painted wheels, so you got the silver centers on them as far as the wheels go. Center caps here, the uh, trim rings there too, and as far as tires, both front and rear tires are both Mastercraft Avenger GT tires, so again, all matching treads there. Um, now the fronts are going to be 235 
60 R15s, and then the back are 245 60 R15s. So just a little bit of difference there to help with the brake on the car. Um, as we walk our way back here, we're going to take a look at our door gaps like we always do, both on the front side and back here on the back side of the door here. Again, those are very uniform. Elevations are good on the door too, both on the front and the back. We also have the bright drip rail mornings here, and those are in excellent condition too. Nice and straight, polished up real well, and again, no dents or dings in any of that trim. We also have the driver's side mirror here. Now again, it's just a manual mirror, so you would adjust it by hand if you need to. And then we'll go ahead and just open the door up real quick. Real briefly, we've got an all black standard vinyl interior in here. Door panels, the seat upholstery, seat covers, carpeting, the dash pad. Everything in here upholstery wise and interior is in excellent condition. It's also got the rosewood style steering wheel in there also. So again, we'll go more in depth with that as we get to the interior. But as far as our weather stripping and our seals and everything, all of these are in great condition. There's no tears or chunks taken out of any of them. And again, all of your weather stripping up along the top side even looks to be practically brand new, nice and soft yet with no uh, cracks or tears or chunks taken out of it. So we'll close our door. Closes nice and easy there. And as we walk back here to our quarter panel, again, we got those bright wheel lip moldings, the 24560 R15 Mastercraft Avenger GT tires, beauty rings and center caps on those 15 inch rally wheels. And then that brings us to the rear of the car. All right, and here we are now around the back side of our 1968 Valero Red Z28 style Camaro. Um, first thing we'll talk about, we'll start here up towards the top, work our way down our glass. Uh, it's in good shape. There's no cracks or chips in the glass. It looks to be a slightly tinted rear window in the car as well. All of your bright uh, molding or your trim work around the window is in good shape. Nicely polished up there too. Now as far as trunk fitment, this trunk fits really good. The elevations are great on this trunk and uh, your gaps the whole way around too are also just as nice on this trunk. Uh, actually, sometimes you see these trunks, they sit up just a little wee bit because they haven't been adjusted real good, but this one looks really good on this car. Um, as far as around the back side here, our tail panel, it's in excellent shape. Your tail light bezels, the bright work, the bright trim around those are in excellent shape, nicely polished up. Where they are to be painted black, they are of course, and there's no um, imperfections in those. The lenses on both your tail lights and the backup light lens covers, those are in excellent shape. There's no cracks or chips in any of that stuff. Of course, it's got a lockable uh, gas cap back here with the Chevy emblem. Again, that has a nice chrome rear bumper on it. Your lower balance. Now, we also saw that on the underside video, we've got tailpipes that exit out between the leaf spring and the quarter panel. Now you can't really see those too well from this shot here because they are tucked up in there really, really nice. Um, but again, they've got it exiting out the back of the car just as it should. That rear trunk spoiler there, that's in good shape. Now we'll go ahead and open our trunk up. Okay, trunk lock works real nice. And the underside of our trunk, of course, painted that same Bolero red color. And then, of course, our weather stripping and seals for the trunk. Those look to be pretty new on this car. Again, nice and soft, and there's no cracks or tears out of any of that. So this thing should seal up watertight. And again, our trunk floor, no evidence of ever being any kind of leaks. Nice, solid, one-piece floor in here. Painted up real nice in the back, uh, you know, in black. Uh, looks like it might have just a tint of... Uh, uh, looks like maybe slight undercoating maybe possibly to help protect that but again whenever we looked at this thing from the underside it looked like these floors both in the trunk and up underneath the car looks like everything's practically brand new in this car so very nice uh, sheet metal on this car inside and out so uh, with that we'll go ahead and close our trunk lid up 
and then we'll go ahead over to the other side of the car. All right, now that we're here on the passenger side, we're kind of on the home stretch heading up to the front of the car here. Um, both sides of this car are nice and laser straight down the sides as I look down them. Again, the panel fitment and alignment is very great on this car. Um, quarter panels are in nice shape. Your uh, side marker light bezels, those are in excellent shape too. Again, the, the bright work on those, nicely polished up. They're not pitted. Uh, very nice condition. Um, again, the bright wheel lip moldings here. 245-60R15, Mastercraft Avenger tires on the back, mounted on 15-inch steel painted rally wheels. Again, you've got all the correct center caps and beauty rings on this car as well. As we said on the other side, you got the bright drip rail moldings. This side just as nice, again, nice and straight, polished up real nice, no dents or dings whatsoever in those uh, drip rail moldings. You have that lower body trim or the rocker molding there. Again, that's in excellent shape. Nice and straight. No dents or dings in that. Door gaps. Door gaps on the back side and on the front side over here on the passenger side. Again, you can see how uniform those look. Very good. Again, elevations are great on this door. You have passenger side mirror also on this car. So that's what you have over on that door. We'll open this side up. Just take a quick peek here. Uh, as far as our weather stripping goes and our seals on our doors, those are in excellent shape. Once again, no chips, no cracks or tears in any of that. Your seals up along the top side here, same thing. There's no, no rips, no tears, no big chunks to keep taken out of that. They look, you know, practically new. Even your door jam U seals back here for your quarter panel. Uh, or quarter glass window, uh, those are in excellent shape. Threshold plates look very, very nice in this car. And again, we've already mentioned all of the interior looks to be in really good condition. But again, we'll take a closer look at that here in a little bit. As you can see, the door shuts nice and easy there too. So let's go ahead and come up here to the front a little bit more. Again, you've got the fender mounted antenna. Got the Camaro script emblem here. Again, bright wheel lip moldings, 235 60R15 Mastercraft Avenger GT tires on the front. And then, of course, that brings us up to the nose of the car. Again, we've got those Z28 emblems on the front fenders and then the nice chrome bumper here. All right, now finally here, we've got, you know, all the way around our car here. We're at the front end. Now the nose of the car, they've kept it pretty clean, pretty simple on this one, and it looks good for this particular car. Um, the all black grill here with just a little bit of the bright work trim around it. Uh, grill is all intact, there's nothing uh, broke or cracked in it, so good solid grill. Um, your marker or your turn signals here, parking lights, um, those are in great shape too. Lenses are great there's no cracks or chips in there and your rings around those those are in good shape headlights are just your typical sealed beam headlights so your highs and lows are right there all in one housing uh, and the lenses are glass of course those are in excellent shape too no cracks or chips in those um, the header panel here real nice again the camaro script emblem and your chrome front bumper along with that black front air dam underneath there to complete the look. Now as I mentioned before we do have an all steel two inch cal induction hood here. Gaps on this hood down the sides are perfect side to side. Even the front and back gaps are great on this car. Um, let's go ahead and open this up next and we'll take a look at what we've got underneath. So first we have the underside of the hood and it's painted the same red as the exterior of the car. Nice and shiny so they finished it off real nice here. You got the chrome fender braces here as well. Uh, now as far as a motor goes, now this is a non-original motor so not a numbers matching motor. Um, I believe when I run the numbers on this it, it's somewhere between like a 70 and 76 uh, 350 cubic inch small block Chevy block. Um, now this has a little bit of chrome on it. Now you've got a chrome Edelbrock air cleaner. You've got some chrome valve covers here too, some Milliden valve covers. And those do have a valve cover breather and the PCV valve in them. Got a Wyand aluminum intake on this car. And as far as spark and ignition, 
They have upgraded the distributor on here to an Excel HEI uh, distributor. Uh, they've got some aftermarket wires on it there too. And then for a carburetor for the fuel delivery, you've got an Edelbrock. This is a 1406 series carburetor, which I believe is a 600 CFM carb. Um, that is what's underneath here to help dump the fuel to this motor. Uh, it is an electric choke, a single feed four barrel carburetor as well. Uh, mechanical fuel pump, you've got uh, ceramic coated long tube headers on this to help get that exhaust out through the tailpipes. Um, and that's uh, essentially it as far as uh, the engine goes. Now we do have power brakes here. Again, those were disc up front, drums in the rear. Uh, it is a manual steering car though, but again, with a car like this with a small block in it, um, steering is really not going to be that big of a deal. You're going to get going and it's going to feel just fine with you. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people prefer the non-power steering on these small blocks. Sometimes the, the power steering car is a little bit too quick, so this one should be just fine for you. Um, heater lines are hooked up. you got a stock style radiator in here complete with a plastic fan shroud as well. So um, that's really about it though for underneath the hood. Um, so we'll go ahead and close this up and then we'll go inside, take a look at the interior just before we fire this up so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, here we are now sitting inside the comfort of our 68 Camaro Z28 styled car here. Um, now again, as I mentioned earlier, we've got an all black standard vinyl interior here. Door panels look to be great, look to be probably new in this car. Already stated about how nice the weather stripping and all the seals are on this car. Factory dash, it's got the padded dash pad here also, and that's in great shape. There's no cracks or no tears in that. It's not been you know sitting out in the sun and dry rotted or cracked. It's in excellent shape. As far as the dash itself goes and instrumentation, it's just factory gauges. On what you have in here is a 120 mile an hour speedometer and then your factory fuel gauge. There are no extra gauges in this car. They kept it very clean, both on the outside as well as on the inside. Got that rosewood style steering wheel here. Nice big thick wheel too to grab a hold of. So again, that's a real nice look for this car. Factory heater controls are retained in here. And then they did upgrade the radio, however, um, they did not modify the dash in any way. Uh, it's a factory mount radio, uh, but there's companies out there that do make aftermarket radios. This one would be a custom auto sound unit, and it bolts right into the stock location with no modifying the dash whatsoever. Um, you've got the factory four-speed center console in here also. Now they do have the B&M shifter in here, uh, but this is a Muncie M21 four-speed, um, so we've already been over that too. Uh, that's just the particular shifter they decided to go with in this car. Carpeting in this car is in excellent shape. All black carpeting, no tears, no fading whatsoever there. Headliner also, it's in excellent shape. No tears in it. All of the correct bows and supports are in here and it's nice and tight. Uh, even back on your sail panels, that's in excellent condition as well. I'm not sure if you can see in the camera, but the door's open and the dome light is on and it does work. So we're in working condition there. And uh, seat upholstery, your covers, both on the front and on the rear also, they are in excellent shape too. Um, you might see a little bit of wear from sitting in them, a um, little wrinkled maybe, but there's no cracks or tears, no fading, nothing like that whatsoever. All of the piping around the seat is in excellent shape. Like I said, you don't see any signs of wear as far as that goes anyways. But again, as you always see, you know, from just sitting in a seat, you'll see a little bit of wrinkle from time to time. Um, that's really about it though. Uh, it's got seat belts in the front. Um, I don't believe it's got seat belts in the back unless it might be tucked under the seat. Um, but again, you do have the front ones there. Sun visors, they are intact and in excellent shape. They're not torn or faded out in any way. And as you can see, when you press them up, they stay up as they should. Um, and that's probably about all we can go over on this particular car. Uh, we've been over top to bottom again. Very nice metal on this car, nice paint, 
fitment and finish on all the panels is in good shape. Um, the engine being a 350 small block Chevy with the Muncie M21 10 bolt GM rear end in the car. Uh, it's just a nice overall package and uh, it's a car that I think you'll be really happy with. Um, so if you have any questions about this car or any other car that we may have in our inventory, definitely feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Um, you can also check us out as well as all of our other inventory on our website at www.hanksters.com.